this experience has like overall just like put me in an environment where I'm surrounded by other planetary scientists, which is not usually like the usual for me. Um, so being here has allowed me to kind of find different areas and subjects within planetary science that I'm interested in um, that have like also like given me the chance to kind of find what I actually enjoy. And that's like something that I've really gained from this experience is like understanding what my like niche in planetary science may be moving forward. Um, I was a little nervous coming into this internship meeting um, 10 new people um, and working with them, but um, everyone has just been so so welcoming and I think we all work so well together even though we're working on our own projects um, we're still all here for each other and we're all in the same boat. Getting to use a lot of instruments that I haven't before like we have the SCM behind me uh, I use that pretty much every week uh, or there's the microphone in the Johnson Space Center I wouldn't have had a chance to use those back home especially not as independently as I can sit here my mentors were Dr. Walter Kiefer and Dr. Matt Weller, and both of them really welcomed me from the beginning of the internship. They started out the summer and did an excellent job of giving me materials to read, and we would discuss them, and they would answer all of the questions that I had. They've also been really willing to help me work on applications that I've been working on. Um, they've helped me brainstorm what kind of research I want to go into. They've given me advice and people to contact uh, for different fields of research throughout the nation and globally as well. So I got to work with a member of uh, Jacobs um, at NASA Johnson Space Center. And uh, I was able to learn a little bit about uh, embedding samples in sulfur. Um, and it was really interesting to see how the sulfur crystallized and uh, eventually people embed those uh, sulfur crystals onto something else and uh, take slices of that for electron microscopy. And it was very delicate work and it was really cool just to see how uh, the process went. Uh, you can ask anyone any question. May it be related to research, related to career opportunities, may it be related to grad school application. You could ask anything. For, for example, when in, during the professional development seminar about the grad school application, I contacted them, asked them, like I told them it was completely different what I experienced in India. They when they were so supportive and they explained me from the basics, from where to start, for how to build a CV and how to approach and how to contact professors. Mm, they even connected me with a lot of professors up, uh, across the nation and helped me build the network here. It was so supportive and helpful. I was very shocked to get the acceptance. Um, I really wasn't expecting it actually. I had sort of applied because it'd been something that I'd heard about years ago and had heard that it was an incredible internship for planetary science. Um, so I always knew that it, like, that would be the dream to get the LPI internship, um, but I didn't really expect to get it. So I did the application on an off chance of might as well give it a go. Um, so yeah, it was a big surprise and I'd actually already made some summer plans which had to be rearranged but um yeah it was really exciting and it's lived up to expectations i think it's important to obviously look for something that you want to do and like try to identify a project and an advisor that like kind of fits what you're like trying to do in terms of research but i think also you should just like trust yourself and like have faith that like whatever happens you're going to get something out of this experience this is like an amazing thing to be doing um, and whether or not you do end up becoming a planetary science or scientist or not, you're still going to be able to take a lot of like professional skills away from this program.